Fans mingle on pit road, walking by cars that will later roar to life and begin the NASCAR Cup season. Some fans wander across the infield grass and others are in their seats under a cloudless blue sky at Daytona International Speedway. A nine-second video surveys the scene well before the start of February's Daytona 500. It is one of many videos taken that day by those in attendance, but this one stands out because of its viewpoint. It is shot atop a team's pit box. As the video pans to the right, one person stands out. An older woman, whose auburn-colored sunglasses rest on her white hair, is parked in the middle of Jimmy Johnson's pit stall. She holds her phone in both hands to capture the pit stall and pit box. She also captures something much more significant. Across from her is a younger woman. 24-year-old Sydney Prince shoots a quick video atop the Legacy Motor Club pit box. She savors the moment ahead of her first Daytona 500 as an engineer for Johnson's team. There have been female engineers in the NASCAR Cup Series before, but they remain a rarity. Prince was one of two female engineers on the pit box for the Daytona 500. The other was Samantha Lunt for RFK Racing's number 60 car driven by David Reagan. Prince was the only female engineer on the pit box among nearly 40 teams when Johnson raced at Texas and Dover. She is expected to be the only female engineer on a pit box during Sunday's cup race at Kansas Speedway. Even though her first cup race didn't go as hoped, Johnson finished 28th after being involved in an incident, it still was special for Prince. It's kind of like a you made it moment, she told NBC Sports. Prince might not have been at the Daytona 500 or any other race this season had it not been for her high school marching band. The Connecticut native played trumpet through middle school and joined the high school marching band her freshman year. She didn't enjoy it that first week and sought something else. A neighbor was taking an engineering course and suggested Prince do the same. She had always been hands-on when she raced micro sprints and sprint cars with her family team. Prince enjoyed the mechanical aspect of motorsports. There was little doubt she would be involved in racing. When her father gave her a list of hobbies at age five to see if she and her twin sister Mallory were interested in any, Prince chose racing. Her grandparents watched NASCAR races and she recalls seeing it then. Also, there was a quarter midget track not too far away from home. When her family got a car and took her to a track to practice, though, she had to be coaxed to get in it. Once she did and drove it, she raced through high school. Her sprint car was number 14 for Tony Stewart, earning her the nickname Stewart Jr. She became a fan of his when he drove the orange Home Depot car, which gained her attention. She had a chance years ago to meet Stewart at the track but was too shy to do so.